Hi, welcome to this new video dedicated to the new Oraching Google One. So it's not again that the HD version of the Oraching Goggles recently introduced, such as the uh, BR007 or the EV800. So uh, this one is uh, including in the 5 inch FPV screen uh, able to display a 10 ITP uh, video source. So uh, it's probably a direct competitor, for example, of the 7 inch version this Tyson uh, recently reviewed some time ago. So uh, we will see if this uh, cheaper hand but uh, smaller 5 inch version is also competitive to the Skyzone model. Let's discover the bundle. Okay, so this is the uh, Goggles one from Hachin, so it's an OM project. Uh, and uh, well, so this is a uh, uh, Goggles including a 5 inch uh, screen about to display up to 1080p resolution, that's pretty, pretty good. And as you can find in the instruction manual, a lot of different uh, resolution are supported. So, um, no problem. And uh, these uh, Goggles uh, need to be a uh, uh, powered by from a 7 volt source up to 13 so it's okay for between 2S and 3S module. Uh, what is the exact weight of this module? I can give you an information about the weight. Okay, It's not so heavy but not so light too so it's in the average of in general of a goggle so let's check that and yes uh, it's 4 122 grams and if I had the, uh, for example the provided linear antenna uh, you will reach uh, 429 grams so in the average so uh, what is good uh, it's coming with this uh, a black edition you have the uh, this kind of uh, part like the uh, head play or the sky zone a very uh, a copy of and uh, well it's too uh, uh, be much more comfortable on your uh, fascia part. You have a piece of, um, of a sponge install, that's great and it's quite comfortable. For big nows, I found that uh, the uh, now section is a little bit narrow. Um, you can find on top uh, uh, one of the input of the fan and the antenna mount. Uh, it's uh, exactly, it's an air, uh, yes, it's an an ACME uh, connector. Uh, I found that is sometimes hard to insert because the plastic is a little bit upper than the uh, ACME connector and it's hard to enter it and to screw it. So the first time you need really to pinch with your thumb the bottom, the basis of your antenna to uh, screw it. Okay, and uh, won't be surprised if, for example, your antenna is a uh, can be a pop-up like this because it's really hard to uh, remove it to insert. It's a little drawback in my point of view. The plastic, the uh, ACME connector is too low in my point of view. Um, you have a good head strap where uh, behind you can strap the uh, one of the two battery uh, provided. So they are 1000 uh, 2S LiPo. And good news, uh, you just need to uh, power them thanks to the uh, micro USB plug like this and you have a uh, power indicator capacity. Okay, three LEDs means it's full charge. 
It's adding with a classic DC connector. Um, you need one hour and a half to charge them, and with one, you have one hour and ten minutes of, uh, of usage. Be aware, and uh, you don't have any batter or voltage harms, so it means that as soon as you reach the uh, below 6.9 uh, volt, your screen will cut immediately. So be aware, uh, it uh, should be uh, with this machine. You should have a batter, and, okay? But no balance are plugged to to connect one. So it's a real drawback. There is absolutely no uh, voltage drop or vo lower voltage harm in this. Uh, uh, goggles. Even if I will show in a few instant, you have uh, the in terms of OSD, you have the current uh, voltage display. But as you will see, it's so narrow that it's not obvious to to see it. Um, so two battery like this are provided. They are quite uh, light. Uh, each of them scale less than 100 grams. Uh, 65 gram to be more precise. Associated with you have a DVI cable, okay, ending with the mini uh, section, okay, so it's good. It's uh, for the HDMI input, so you can, for example, uh, broadcast a movie from your computer or uh, the uh, you can plug directly your light bridge uh, system if you have one. Be aware with the DJI light bridge version. Uh, it's not that uh, some information on top and bottom are a little bit cropped, so be aware um, um, there is a problem maybe of the scaling adaptation uh, with this one. So, uh, concerning the uh, how to use it, you have everything uh, is uh, on the right side. First of all, you have the mini HDMI input, and here this is the 3.5 uh, jack output to plug your uh, favorite sp uh, headphone. Uh, so you have five buttons. Here, this button, written scan, is used to power the system or to power off if you very long press on it more than three four seconds. Here, this is a source selector. By default, you are in. Uh, a, um, AV, so it means that you are trying to receive to receive an uh, uh, 5.8 gigahertz source. Okay, but if you press on it, you can uh, display a, a HDMI source as soon as you plug your uh, cable into this connector. Here is to enter in the menu, and this one plus and min minus is to uh, uh, select the uh, decrease and increase the value. Okay, so basic uh, stuff, no diversity installed, no have out, okay, so uh, you won't be able to connect, uh, for example, an, a DVR recorder to record your flight station. It's definitively a, a, a drawback of this machine. Uh, here is the uh, Fresnel lens, okay, I don't know if you can see. I found that the distance between the Fresnel lens to the top of the nose is only less than 2.5 centimeters. It means that uh, you will be, you will encounter probably some problems uh, if you're wearing some glasses, okay, to uh, to handle. And in fact, I found that it's almost impossible to uh, fit. Uh, these are goggles if you are wearing some glasses in the same time. So uh, it's uh, a big, big, big problem. Okay, so let's uh, pour it and make some test. Okay, some testing. So just connect one of the uh, LiPo. And as I said previously, to pour your system, you have to long press the scan button. Okay, like this. And you can hear immediately the fan spinning. And now you can see the uh, white snow synonym that uh, the firmware flashed uh, in this Google is uh, FPV friendly. So by default is uh, selected the last source channel you selected. So here it was the RF uh, channel, but maybe you can, you won't be able. But on the top, okay, on the top right, the left, you have very written in yellow the current voltage. I don't know if you will be able to see. Uh, it's written 7.8 volts, so you have your current voltage. But in the wise snow in FPV session, it's almost impossible to see it. Uh, yellow, very uh, 
uh, light uh, yellow color is pretty hard to distinguish. More, I found that, well, I'm not uh, very young, but my eyes start to be tired and I, my vision is a little bit decreased versus time. But I found that for me it's completely unfocused and uh, has to some uh, other people to wear it and even they found that it's not really uh, in focus since it's a little bit blurred. That's definitely a real, a real drawback of this system, okay? So let's uh, input a, a video source, for example. Let's make a test with the, um, whatever a small quadcopter, it's a toy one, displaying in the uh, E4 band in NTSC format. So I will power up this uh, uh, source, okay? And after a couple of seconds, the uh, video will appear. I hope so. Yes, like this. So, uh, no problem at all to display all the information. You can see perfectly the HD logo on top left and the uh, time lapse on the bottom uh, right. No problem. Okay, so this uh, quadcopter, well, I don't know, maybe the battery is weak, I don't know. But you have some dropout in the video signal, okay. Um, okay, like this, so you can see perfectly the, uh, the quality of the image. You have a small delay, be aware, okay. I can probably show you in the test, okay. Lower the camera, you will be able to see things in action. Okay, so let's take, have a look. Okay, I hope you will be able to see. Okay. Just something like this. I will come closer. You have a small delay. It's a measure, I will give you some information between 50 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds. So it's not so. Um, amazing so for FPV racing. Uh, one notion I will cut this uh, small toy capture disconnected and after I will show also um, a small uh, pale source to show that it's also adapting correctly the um, uh, uh, from the video source resolutions. Uh, in terms of Screen, the screen, the screen is very good, very very good. Uh, I really like the uh, uh, quality of the screen. And let's enter into the menu. So press on this button, and it's written so small. Okay, and I will try to be in the same situation. I hope you will be able to see. Okay, but for me it's uh, completely blurred when I wear it. I, Maybe it's possible, so you can tune the backlight, the brightness, the contrast, the volume, and the video type. So if you want to uh, adjust to a specific video source, okay? So um, no other settings, and uh, maybe you didn't notice yet, but the big, big, big problems with this uh, goggles. You don't have written anywhere your current uh, video frequency. I uh, turned off on the uh, small quadcopter and you didn't see that actually I am in E4 frequency. So how to uh, scan it? You have to press this button here. This is the only way by an automatic scanning to uh, set your video frequency. It's a shame. Uh, how you can be sure that the scanning procedure select the most uh, uh, the best one, the most stronger one? You don't know. And you need a manual selection to be sure because you, if you know where, uh, what was the exact transmitter frequency, you know by manually to set it. And here you cannot. So you have to long press the uh, scan button after a cup couple of seconds on the top middle, you can see scanning procedure, a small message, you like this, churching, I hope you can see, churching, okay, and it will scan the frequency, okay, like this, and it's written so small in kind of yellow, so actually no source, so you want the display, so I will also turn this other uh, video source, so it's a quadcopter, this time displaying some information in PAL, 
Okay, I will turn on the radio because this one, if not, is displaying. So I will re start the scanning procedure. Long press on the scan button until release key. Okay, churching. And it will try to scan it. Okay, churching, churching, churching. No current, uh, for example, up. Scanning everything I hope to okay, and he decided to uh, collect so here Okay, you can see that for example the bottom of the information is not displayed You cannot see uh, the lower source because previously I was in uh, uh, NTSC format so some the bottom information of the USB are cropped. It's really bad. So I will turn off the goggles Okay, you have to long press the power button, okay? And I will try to see if it's just because I was previously inputting a, a video a source in NTSC format, so I will repower the goggles, okay? And no, it's still crop on the bottom, okay? You cannot see the low stats uh, values, very, really bad. So I will try to force the uh, uh, type of video source okay. uh, so I don't know okay I tune I set now to pale and it's still cropped so there is a, a problem uh, to display some information for a pale system. Uh, that's a big, big, big problem. Okay, so uh, uh, it's definitely a drawback. Um, so, uh, a lot of problems for this uh, Gogos. Some problem to display some pale source. No possibility to uh, select manually the exact video frequency. No SD information to show which is the current uh, frequency selected. Wow, it's a lot of problem. And uh, as I would say, that I observe also another uh, problem. I will turn off this quad capture. Okay, to save the battery. I observe also another problem with this machine. Um, Okay, I also forget to mention the uh, 15, between 15 to 100 milliseconds of uh, delay for processing. I notice also a problem with that. When you, I don't know, for, you have to, to turn off the Google, you have again to press uh, the, uh, this button during more than five seconds. But imagine you are extracting the LiPo connector like this. Okay, because usually you are doing like this. And try to reconnect it. I observe that sometime when you turn on your Google again, okay, you don't have any more the uh, white snow, okay, the LCD monitor is blocked. Okay, now today is working, but it happened to me that three, four times after especially long usage, uh, there was no more the white snow, I was blocked, okay, and whatever I do, I was blocked. I need to wait a lot of time and it's rich started to work, I don't know, so it's a kind of uh, black screen of the desk, I will call it like this, so uh, it could be a, a big, big problem. Okay, so um, I will also uh, show some uh, ARIF sensitivity test, and there is some good news for it, and uh, I found that even if there is no diversity, the ARIF sensitivity is pretty good, very competitive to the Skyzen, for example, that's uh, definitely a good point. So, to uh, what I said about the latency is done, and also uh, I will make also a small uh, demonstration uh, of the uh, general sensitive uh, quality uh, by uh, filming directly inside the Google and comparing with the uh, DVR uh, recording. Uh, so, I will conclude about these Googles. Um, the screen is just great. It's probably one of the best uh, screen I see. I even prefer this one than the Skyzone. Okay, the default settings, I like the general ambience temperature is cool and the immersion and the quality, the precision is great. Um, really, I like uh, the, uh, the general design. Okay, even if I would prefer uh, uh, spaces a little bit more uh, larger for uh, large nose. Okay, the sponge is good. Okay, the general weight is good. I like the uh, uh, two uh, um, 
a lipo, each of them giving uh, one hour, uh, one hour ten minutes. But um, except this uh, few uh, positive points, there is a lot of drawbacks. First of all, the OSD is not displaying the current uh, video frequency. It's just amazing. You don't have any manual video frequency selection. It's impossible. You don't have any array how to array in, for example. It's uh, a drawback. Um, okay, so uh, I forgot to mention about the HDMI source. I will uh, just uh, show also that it's working fine. Okay, but as I show for a pay source, be aware for some uh, uh, inputs you, you may have some cropping problems so I will insert this uh, mini HDMI connector and then put to uh, my laptop to show that it's possible to perfectly uh, input some ok so after a couple of seconds I uh, hope I will be able. I will select the Avehin, and I hope yes, it's displaying. Okay, I will probably yes. So I will be able. I will install full screen, and you will be able to see that the video it quality it just just great, great, very really I like it. Okay, I hope you can see the immersion, the feeling of immersion is just great and the display is wow, very good uh, FPV screen. Okay, so uh, it's good for most of the source, but be, be aware with some HDMI or uh, DJI light bridge version, we stop it. You can uh, have a problem of some crop fixation, okay? So definitely need to be uh, solved in a future update of this uh, uh, goggles. So actually, I don't recommend to buy them. Uh, it's not a, 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 a product which is finished. It needs to be uh, uh, polished. For example, they need to improve the OSD information. They need to add a, a buzzer, a voltage alarm, while a buzzer when you are entering in a lower voltage uh, situation. Okay? Uh, they can keep the, um, the screen great, the general box also, the goggles also. It's, uh, it's good. Okay? But I, for, I think they need also to probably change the Fresnel uh, lens or the distance to the screen because for me I found it's a blur, but really, really blur. Okay, I've got the problem. I need to wear some glasses, but I asked two, three, or four person with perfect view, and they also found that it's a little bit blur. So uh, it's not normal. Uh, you need to, for example, uh, I don't know, to decrease the magnifying. Uh, Factor, I don't know the Fresnel lens. I am not especially for it. So um, these Googles for me are more beta version of the Google One. So maybe the Google Two or Three will be a much more uh, interesting product. You win, you need a diversity, of course, a nave out, and of course a DVR recording. Your FPV station would be great. Anyway, so uh, I recommend more to uh, still, uh, for example, to. Uh, uh, Continue with the uh, um, uh, uh, Skyzone SGB01. For me, much more a complete product. The diversity is great. Uh, the uh, source adaptation also. Uh, okay, uh, you can record and install, for example, thanks to the AV out, uh, the uh, HME DVR to record. And the uh, immersion is, is really great also. The really I like this. This Google. So uh, I, I prefer to advise more to take this one instead of the Google one. For me, it's not a yet a finished project. Okay, it's, it's really a really pity because uh, the uh, screen quality is great and uh, and it's a very frustrating situation. Uh, they miss just to the lack the months maybe to uh, to, uh, to to install a correct. Uh, a firmware on the uh, OSD of the associated video receiver, the built-in video receiver. Okay, I will now hand this unboxing and analysis, follow some testing, latency testing, and some demo flight. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please send it. And if you like my channel in general, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye. This is the RX sensitivity test uh, of the Google One versus the. Um, the skies and 
Oh, okay, uh, edgy uh, B001. So, uh, in order to be fair, I only install one antenna uh, on this Kaizen, okay? And both are set exactly on the same frequency. So, I will move around with my uh, Armway FPV cam and, and check how it's sensitive. Okay, let's go. Okay. 